Yo guys, sorry, you already know that today I'm bringing you guys the finale of the Spyro Year of the Dragon 100% run that we have been doing slash have done. We pretty much have 100 percented this game. We've actually done more so. I think we're at like 100 and I don't know. But yeah, there's a, there's a secret egg, which uh, is the only thing in this portal beyond us because we have all the treasure. Uh, everything else is 100% complete, and, um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and see what this is about, if you, uh, if you don't already know, whoo, uh, of course, yeah, I saw her sink in, like, whatever liquid, all this time, all, like, it hasn't been that long, <laughs> I did like one level in between coming here, uh, so she can't have saved up that much magic. Your best chance to defeat her is to borrow my flying saucer. I cast some spells on it to give it extra firepower and unlimited flying time, but the rest is going to be up to you. You've come this You can just like use your magic to. Well, all right, I guess the sorceress is like maybe more magical, but whatever. Maybe more magical than like bullets. I'm trying to think. I feel like I remember this being like way too easy for like what it should be. Because you can just, like, like, shoot. And, uh, I don't, I don't remember, wait, is this supposed to be hard or is this just supposed to be, like, beat up on the sorceress? Ugh. Okay, she did, like, turn around and, like, fire at me or whatever. Whee! This is kind, this kind of reminds me of, uh, the Ripto fight, but, like, way simpler and, like, not nearly as good. Uh, like, especially, like, the final, uh, Ripto part, where, like, he's flying on, like, his bird or whatever. Um, and then you're just, like, flying and shooting after him and, like, dodging his self. But he shoots more frequently, and, uh, I think he shoots while he's flying. He doesn't s stop and, like, uh, um, what's that called? Um, I can't think what it's called. Oops. I thought I moved out of the way. Um... Yeah, when, when, like, you know something's coming and the character does something that, uh, gives it away. I, I know there's a word for it and it's so obvious and I cannot think of what that word is. Um, but yeah. Yeah, this is very, very easy. I feel like I remember this being easy. Again, I feel like I've only done this super bonus stuff, like, once or twice in my life. Um, but I knew I'd be able to, to do it again. Uh, so it's all good. But yeah, this, I think this is it. You get an egg and um the the world is all good it's pretty pretty crazy ah oh man okay yeah i don't want to like actually be like overconfident and then like she like does stuff i think she's taking longer to fire and i think that's how i got hit that one time oh wait you're way over there now Ooh, just missed where are you at where oh you're up there now what the heck she's moving faster what, you don't want to die? Oh! Oh, she did hit me. Dang. Haha. <laughs> I was gonna say, I gotta be... Yeah, she's like speeding off. Dang. Alright. Okay, nope. Miss me. Oh, wow. Oh, you hit me again. Oh, snap. Oh, she like waits to get hard until the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, man. She was about to... She was about to have me. Dang. She was really about to have me. Yin yang, because the world is at peace or balance or what? Oh, I was like, is there nothing in there? <laughs> Hi. Oh, there's two. Wait, is that is that twins or is that um a two-headed dragon? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, they're all so cute. Why are they as big as me? <laughs> What was that? Oh, that looked so dumb. <laughs> this is yours. It's a failure. <laughs> I say there's gonna be no words. It's just gonna be. <laughs> that was the dumbest thing ever. Oh, that was the dumbest thing ever. I think I'm actually gonna let the um the credits play this time. Um, that way I don't have, like, a five-minute episode. <laughs> um, but... 
what was that end cut scene? It's just like the dragons running around. <laughs> that. And then a little dragon just like burping at everybody and being like outcast already. He's just like, mm, your problem, Spyro. Because everything's my problem. But uh, yeah, so this was Spyro, Year of the Dragon. My favorite game of all time. Uh, with confidence, I would say that. Oh man, every it's just so it's it's so great, so great. I had a great time going through this uh, adventure again, and uh, it's it's sad that it's over, but it's also not because I've I've actually started recording this in like July of last year. So, um, <laughs> but you know, it is it is what it is, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys had fun. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching this series. I'm going to start dropping my controller apparently, but I'm going to uh, be having more playthroughs and whatnot of, of different games. Uh, Spyro, uh, I mean there's no Spyro games that I plan on playing on the channel just because the ones that are on the PS2 I don't have the capability to. Um, and then there's just like handheld Spyro games, which are like, and maybe I'll talk about them someday, but I, I don't think I would ever do a playthrough of them because I've never really played them. Um, hey, okay, I was gonna make that. I didn't remember um, if that was this one or not, but I think the first Spyro has a different voice actor, but in Ripto's Rage and Year of the Dragon, it's Tom Kenny, who's the voice of SpongeBob. I don't know if I've said that in the series or not, but that's that's cool. Oh, we also have Sergeant Bird, how about that? Um, but yeah, so, and now I'm, like, looking at all the, like, voices to see if, like, anybody else, uh, pops out. I don't, I don't think they do, but, yeah, so I, I, uh, so I was definitely, playthroughs are pretty much done. I think there's one thing that I would like to do that, uh, um, involves, like, this, this series still. I, I do, I, but I don't want to promise anything that, like, might not show up. But hopefully, this isn't the last time Spyro appears on the channel in some way, shape, or form. Um, but this will probably be the last playthrough um, of, of a Spyro game. And, unless, somehow, I get, like, capability to, uh, to record, like, other, like, more recent uh, Spyro games. Which just means anything after the PS1. Um, but yeah, so... That's where we're at with that. Uh, there's going to be some other different games. Um, I already got one. There's one series that's completed that is going to be uh, going up very shortly after this. Uh, and while that is being uploaded, I'm going to record another one. I'm going to try and, and do that where I just have like a series ready to go. Um, that way, I'm not uploading for like... When was the first episode of this uploaded? It ha This has to have been going on for like five, five months, six months, something like that. So like the first episode was uploaded maybe October or November. I don't remember. But um, yeah, so it definitely far too long, but I uh, definitely will take steps to correct that in the future because there are still a few more games that I would like to play on this channel. And as long as there are games that I would like to play... Um, they're going to get played and they're going to get shared on, on this channel. So that is what you can expect. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. Um, fantastic game overall. Uh, only a couple of very frustrating parts, but still mostly fair. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, man, Spiral Year of the Dragon. I will miss playing. I can't wait to, I mean, I'll probably just end up playing this game again in like a year or two. I always come back to this game every now and then to play it again, but yep, that has been that has been this game and uh, and this playthrough. So we'll just give all the special thanks to all these uh, beautiful people uh, that brought us this great game. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. I could probably just keep rambling. I'm pretty good at that. Um, but yeah, so that has been the series. These are like some of the longest credits ever. Wow, there's special thanks and then there's extra special thanks. Now, does that mean that it's extra special that they're getting things? Like they're more special than the other people or they're just like the afterthought. They're like, oh yeah, we forgot about these people. This is like the extra special thanks thing. It's like, whoops. 
Um, what is oh you? What is UIS? Universal Interactive Studio. I don't know. They had a legal. Another special thanks. Wow, there's a lot of people to thank. I did enjoy the Spyro trilogy. Thank you so much. We have had four great fun sleepless years getting it. Four. Uh, four? Oh yeah, I guess they would have started making it in, I don't know. Because the games came out year after year after year. 98, 99, and 2000. Pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I guess work on a game would start before that. And then, unfortunately, there's there's no more Spyro Insomniac games. So sad. But, is what it is. Look at those beautiful numbers. And, um, that's great. If only we had, like, 99 lives, that probably would have made it complete. But, yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. But that is going to end the series. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed um, the entire stay. And I will see you on the next series. Whatever you guys decide to watch my channel, there will be plenty of stuff to watch. So until then, guys, stay slack.